What's going on you guys? So check it right. It seems like Nota, who is a self-proclaimed authority of the SA music industry, while it seems like he doesn't get tired from trying to trash South African rappers who are really doing some dope shit for themselves. Now, taking a break from Psycho analyzing Nasty C's career, he decided to give his opinion on A. Reese and his most recent project at Burning Tree, where he went on to say, if only A. Reese could rap like the guys who talk in his skits, oh wait, he's got 25k on the track, both of them would be so much hotter if they just got into the studio with Melo and Sleazy. And he followed up by saying, from today onwards, the only Reese's we recognize are the Buttercups, James and Majlisa. Now, trust me when I say this, A. Reese is pretty much as hot as it gets when it comes to his music and even just popularity wise. So to say that he needs to get into the studio with Melo and Sleazy to become hotter is just delusional, my guy. He's undoubtedly top three when it comes to being one of the biggest rappers in the country. And he's probably the only one letting his music gain all the traction he needs when it comes to having a career in the industry. Because I mean, if you're looking at artists who have switched from hip hop to piano, such as Reason and Casper in your vest, musically speaking, have their careers gotten harder since making that switch? Like honestly speaking though, have they? Personally, I don't think so. I mean, they pretty much still at the same level they were at before they made the switch. But I could be wrong in my assessment, either way though, like Reese working with piano niggas wouldn't really do anything for him because he's already on fire. If anything, Reese working with Melo and Sleazy, while it would actually make their careers harder if we're being honest. Because right now, as I'm recording this, Reese is actually competing with Gabza, who just dropped a new project, as well as Melo and Sleazy. Now we have Reese sitting at number one, whereas Gabza is at number two, and Melo and Sleazy are at number four. So just based off that, would Reese really get harder if he jumped in the stool and did piano? Like, come on, bro. Stop with the crazy talk and just accept that baby boy is really doing things. But anyways, my thing is this, right? It's funny how Nota can be so delusional at times because it's like he conveniently forgets that niggas like Reese and Nasty make music in the genre that is hip-hop. They grew up on hip-hop and are heavily influenced by hip-hop. So to criticize them and expect them to drop music in Ama Piano is so ridiculous. I mean, bro, piano is piano and hip-hop is hip-hop. So can we just appreciate both genres and respect the music an artist decides to make instead of just hating unnecessarily? I mean, I get wanting to have constructive criticism or just having a certain preference in terms of the music you listen to. But don't hate for no reason because you just come off as delusional in some of the things you say. But before I dip, I want to leave you guys with a quote from a wise man where he once said, I can't imagine me at 30 power tweeting in my room about it, dude, and being so over the moon about it, just to be them soon about it. Hey, that wise man couldn't have said it better. But you guys, let me know your thoughts on this. It's not so right about saying Reese becoming hotter if he jumped and did piano or is he just being delusional because reese is one of the hardest artists right now comment down below anyway guys thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace